I have a ton of nicknames. My teammates make up new names for me on the regular. A lot of them call me Dennis or the Lozenger. Rozzy. Some people call me Linda. The Rosman. Dennis Rodman. Now just Dennis or Denny for short. When I lived in Ecuador, everyone called me Rosa. My full name is Rosalind Grunewald, but everyone calls me Roz G. I lived in Quito, Ecuador for four years when I was 8 to 12, but I watched the 2002 Olympics when I was in, living in Ecuador, the Salt Lake Olympics, and I watched the mogul skiing, and I was like, this is what I'm going to do. It was like fast, and there's jumps, and it's dangerous, they're in the air, and there's like a mixture of speed and time. So my parents enrolled me into a, um, a recreational freestyle program. And so I kind of transitioned more into train park skiing and half pipe skiing and so over the next few years kind of progressed to doing like national level events and then international events. This is Ross, second run, Lake Contamine World Cup. There you go Ross, that's it, nice. For a long time I really didn't realize that being a professional skier was an option. It took a really long time for me before it clicked. Oh wait. This could actually be how I make a living. That month of April of my grade 12 year was definitely, was a formative month. And at the end of the year, every year, there is an event in Whistler called the World Ski Invitational. In some ways, I think of it as the beginning of my life now. In the qualifying round, I competed at a run at that point in time that was, it had a 900 in it as well as an unnatural 540 and I got a standing ovation from the judges and I won semifinals by a, by a pretty good margin and then a few days later in finals I couldn't I didn't land the same run I guess the nerves kind of got to me which is also part of the learning process of competing at a high level not uncommon to to blow it <laughs> your first one of your first times so I've kind of always more held on to what happened in semifinals is being one of the first times that I realized that it was a serious step to becoming where I am now. It's a challenging industry for a woman. There's not a lot of us. Uh, action sports community is definitely very, very male oriented. We're so, so outnumbered. But I think that's probably part of the reason that I like it. I can't imagine life without training hard for something. As someone who loves competing, the Olympics are the prime venue for competition. As a 12 year old, I decided that yeah, I was gonna go to the Olympics for moguls. In that kind of fantasy world when you've never even tried a sport and you decide that you're gonna be the best at it. <laughs> when I stopped skiing moguls and kind of transitioned more into half pipe skiing and slope style skiing and just hitting jumps, neither of those sports were in the Olympics and so I kind of, at that point, stopped thinking really of it being an Olympic dream and more just being something that I just really, really love doing. Once the Olympics became on the horizon again, kind of remembered all those childhood dreams of the Olympics and it has once again become something that I'm super, super excited about. There was definitely a generation of women before me, so I'm kind of in that next generation. But I think still early enough in the whole scheme of things to really be part of the group that kind of helps it progress and I'm hoping part of the group that continues to garner more attention and more respect and be part of the group that really pushes it. Yeah.